Hello everyone, my name is Mehta Ibiki and welcome to the day tutor. Today we are going to look at the second example under accounting equation. Okay, so we are going to solve another practical example about accounting equation. So we have a question here and it says from the table below which gives the effects. So this table is giving us the effects of the transaction. Okay, so from the table below which gives the effects of the individual transactions. You are required to state as fully as possible what transaction has taken place in each case. Okay, so with this question, we are going to state what has taken place. Do you get it? Unlike the first participant question, where we showed the effects, they gave us the transaction and we showed the effects. Now they have given us the effects and we have to show the what transaction that has taken place. Good. So we are going to start with our first. Answer. So, what we have to do is that we have to compare the previous um, um, effects to the current effect to know what has happened, whether there has been an increase in one asset capital or liability. Do you get it? Or there has been a uh, decrease in an asset capital or liability. Do you get it? Good. So, we are simply going to check what effect has happened. To our accounting equation and state the transaction that has taken place. Good. So we will compare the first effect to the um, A. Okay. So we will compare the first one to A, then A to B, then C to D, then D to E. So it's going to be like we are comparing the first column, okay, to the A. So now the first column is like um, a previous um, effect, and now we have a current effect which is A. So when we come to B, we we'll compare the A to B. You get it. so A is now going to be the previous effect, and B is now going to uh, be the current um, effect. So we are going to state the transactions. Now comparing the first one to A, you can see that furniture was the same. Motor motor van increased by ten thousand. Okay. Um, office was the same, inventory was the same, data was the same, bank increased by 10,000, cash was the same, capital was the same, loan was the same, and creditors were the same. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to state what transaction has taken place. Now we could see that motor bank has increased by 10,000, then our bank has decreased by 10,000. So we will say, that means we purchased motor bank with check, okay. We purchased a motor van with check because our motor van has increased by what ten thousand, and our bank has decreased. So the transaction here is going to be a purchased motor van. Ten thousand. Wait, check. Okay, this is what our transaction is going to be because you could see that the bank here, which the check here, which we know that is bank, decreased by ten thousand. Okay, and our motor bank increase when we purchase motor bank, our motor bank is going to definitely increase, and our check amount. Or bank will what decrease. Yeah, yeah. So this effect shows that we purchased motor van, which is it increased and decreased by what ten thousand with check. Yeah, yeah. Good. So that's the transaction. Now we move to B. So now when we go to B, we are going to compare the effect at A to B. So now when we check A to B, we, we can see that um Everything was intact. Then cash decreased. Okay, cash decreased. Then we could see that creditors also what decreased. We get it. So we could see that our cash here decreased by what eight thousand. Then our creditors here also what decreased by what eight thousand. Good. Our cash has decreased. Creditors have also decreased. That means that 
we paid creditors eight out we paid creditors eight thousand by cash okay or with cash you get it so it's not like every day or you should get the same phrase as mine okay you could also say you bought motor back okay you should just show the transaction that has taken place you get it you can use your own English and term but it should fit to the accounting transactions you get it yes so with the B we could say, we could say that we pay credited eight eight thousand with cash you get it good so Paid creditors eight thousand with cash or by cash. Good. So that's the transaction that took place in B. Okay. Because if cash has decreased and our creditors has decreased. It means that we are we are owing creditors. Okay, so first we are owing creditors two hundred and twenty-four thousand. Okay, and now it has reduced to two hundred and sixteen thousand. That means that we've been able to settle part of our debt um, with cash. You get it. So we are we've been able to settle eight thousand debt with cash. You get it. So now we no more owe uh, we no more owe our creditors two hundred and twenty-four thousand. But we owe them 216,000 because we paid them or we reduced our debt by about 8,000. We get it. So the amount we owe our creditors has decreased by 8,000. That's why we see the um, 216 debt. So you have to check the difference, okay? What has happened? Because the first one, if we see that it decreased um, and increased by 10,000, then you check the B. It increased and decreased by how much? Okay, good. So here, all of them were decrease so we see that um, by eight thousand so cash has decreased creditors as well also decrease we get it good we settled our debt eight thousand pay them with eight eight thousand so you could see that we no more have that amount of cash we are having it has reduced by what eight thousand so we move to C so we are going to compare B to C good so with B, we could see that everything was in that and bank. Okay, bank and loan. Good. So we have bank and loan here. They reduced an increase by how much? 300,000. Okay, 300,000. Good. So now what are you going to say about this? You can say that we see um, loan 300,000 by check. We get it. Good. So received a loan. Okay, so received loan. By how much? Three hundred thousand by check. You get it, yes, because it's decreased by 300,000. So the explanation goes this way. If we see that the loan here um, was 400 and it increased what 700, then the bank was 44, um, 44, then it increased to 344. Do you get it? So they increased by what 300,000, 300,000. Good. So that means that. First of all, we had a loan, um, we did a loan of 400, then we went for another loan of 300. So that's why we have that 700 day as an increment on loan. Now we, we have um, a loan of what? 700. Because we're going to receive um, 300,000. And you can see that the check has also increased. You get it. So that means that that's the bank. It's increased by what? 300,000. You get it. Good. Because the loan can be in a form of check. Okay. We're receiving a check in a form of uh, in a form of loan. You get it. Good. So that's the explanation for this. So we so if we see that all of them what um increase, there's no way that um, we are going to see one increasing and one decreasing. All of them can decrease 
all of them can also work increase. They, they just have to check what is happening there, the effect. So we move to D. So for D, furniture. Furniture. Now furniture was 900. Let's calculate that. 1150 minus 900. So furniture increased by what? 250,000. Then what again? Increased or decreased? Bank. Okay. Bank also moved from or decreased from 344 to 94, which was also 250,000. Good. So you can see that that is the only increment and decrease here. So furniture and fittings increased by 250,000. Then bank decreased by what? 250,000. So what transaction has likely taken place here? We can see that. Furniture was what? 900,000. Okay. And it has increased to 1150. That means 1,150,000. Okay. Good. That means we purchased more furniture, right? It's very simple. Good. So, we can say purchased or bought. Okay, what about saying we use? Purchased furniture and fittings. Furniture and fittings. We check good because it was it was check that we do. Purchase furniture and fittings. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Wait. Check. Good. So that's the transaction that has taken place in that column. Good. Now we move on to E. E. Good. Now E. We are going to compare E to D. So furniture was the same, motorbike was the same, office equipment was the same. Inventory was the same. Debtors decreased from 376,000 to 216,000. And also, bank increased from 94,000 to 254,000. Then, cash was the same. Capital was the same. Loan was the same. Creditors were the same. So, the effect here was between debtors and bank. Good. So, what are we going to do? Do uh, right for this transaction. The increase or decrease, let's calculate that. 90, okay, 254 minus 94, 160. So that means that our bank increased by 160. Okay, bank increased by 160, and our debt is also increased, uh, decreased by 160. Do you get it? Good. So now we can see that our debt is the people who owe us. The people who owe us, they are owing us 376. And now they are owing us 216. They decrease from uh, 376 to 216. Do you get it? So that means that they've settled their debt. Do you get it? Because first of all, they were owing us. Debtors are people who owe us. Put that in mind. Okay. So now they, are, they were owing us 376. 76 and now it's 216. So what we can see here is that they've increased their they've decreased the amount they owe us. We get it. That means they've settled their debt. And we can see that check here also increased okay from 94,000 to 254,000. That means that our check, our check amount, our bank amount also increased. So we can see that they paid their debt with check. Okay. Good. So they settle their debt to check. So they no more owe us that 376, but 216,000. get it. So we can say that received a check of 
or we can say that write it in simple terms we see it was 160 right 160,000 we see 160,000 check from Debtors. GDF. Simple as that. Because our cash here, our check here has increased. Okay. Yes, it has increased by what? 160,000. And our debtors figure has what? Decreased by what? 160,000. So they've settled the amount by what? 160,000. So you can see that this is the transaction that has taken place. Okay, good. So yes, that's all. That's the last transaction. So these are what um, the question was trying to uh, tell us or make us do. So with this, I think everything is okay. And yes, so end here. And I'll see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe. Comment and share this video so that others can benefit from it. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.